when the baby cries, I also cry. The baby will cry, I also cry. This baby will cry, I also cry. At the point, I'm like, mm, I have to go. So, hello, and welcome back to another video with the SE Base. If you're new here and today happens to be the first time you be on this channel, we welcome you. We'd love you to stay. So in that case, we want you to hit the subscription button to join this happy family. However, if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in today. Now, as you've read from the title, my biggest and greatest challenge as a mother. In this video, I'm going to share with you guys some of my greatest and biggest challenges being a mom, you know. But before we start, I just want to say I'm very thankful because today's weather is like, it's, less, it's hot, but it's not that hot, 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 you know. And uh, we should be grateful because Manchester is always raining. Yeah, even in the UK, you know what I'm talking about. Manchester is always raining. So if we have the grace and we, we have the chance to, you know, breathe in and uh, have fun in this beautiful weather, you know it's sunny but i'm still indoor because so let's just get straight into this video so you all know that i'm a new mom uh you know i got married almost a year and a half is it a year and a half now yeah and then after the marriage obviously we had some plans of you know enjoying life before we have babies here and there but our plans are not god's plans and we are happy that uh things happen this way I'm excited. Yes, I do even want more kids. <laughs> that is if someone is ready, if Mrs. Bay is ready. But anyway, yeah, uh, being a motherhood uh, has been a very beautiful experience, beautiful journey. A woman would want to, you know, uh, experience that. Or, well, not every woman, some women, but let's say the majority, yeah. The majority would love to experience it and um, sometimes we are so happy and you know caught up in this whole experience that sometimes sometimes we forget we're losing ourselves and our relationship in the whole process uh, apparently now he's i mean he's grown he's a bit older now he's uh, almost eight months now i'm excited because he's growing very healthy thanks be to god uh, it has been a whole, you know, I would say good experience. I would not say it's bad because, come on, uh, things was easy at the beginning, I would say. Because now I'm left alone. I'm always in the house with the baby. With the baby. But yeah, everything has been okay. He's been eating well. Uh, you know, he's been he's been a good boy till now. I don't have issues when it's with my baby. Because he's he's been a very beautiful adorable funny uh bubbly baby he loves smiling he loves laughing a lot he loves playing with his dad and uh is and it's been a wonderful experience so far i don't know about you if you are having the same challenges or i don't know if you've encountered them already in the past with your kids or if you are yet to be a mom is it something that you've been thinking of is it something that you've uh i don't know i'm just sharing my experience with you guys and i don't know maybe you guys are already encountering this or not but uh yeah so i've listed some key points yeah so the first thing that i've listed here is, is uh, knowing whose advice to take uh when you're a mom or when you are when you're a mom to be because everyone has his own opinion on how to, you know, raise a child or to nurture a child. However, uh, it's up to you, the mom, what you want to do or if you'd want to, you know, incorporate those ideas or those advice that you've taken in from other people. It could be family, it could be friends, it could be the public, anyone. But uh, the, I would say that there are some few stuff that I've, you know, literally uh taken ever since i became a mom and i've been and i'm very conscious when it comes to that and that is uh you know uh most people would have given good advice i would say others to the advice they gave i thought 
it wasn't good for me or it's not going to help myself and my family i mean when i say my family my husband myself and my baby so literally some of them we just brushed it off and you know we sat down as a couple and we decided on how to you know raise our child and how to nurture our child and um of course we are christian so he's his up uh bringing uh, obviously going to you know raise this child in christ but uh he's still a baby yes i think uh the most um i'll say when we will literally start you know to you know uh start teaching him about christ would probably be let's say from one year at the moment i see him that he cares me when i talk because when i say he should stop he does stop when i say talk he talks when i say eat he eats sit he sits he understands it but it's just that his mouth is not he talks a lot but i don't know what he's saying obviously he's a baby but uh yeah i'll possibly say that let's say from one year going that's when that's when um, we will literally uh, literally nurture him very well in um, christ tell him bible stories he has already started you know watching bible stories and uh one uh, youtube channel that i can really recommend for babies if you want your baby to you know start watching christian uh or bible stories uh would be superbook Superbook didn't come just today it came long time ago i remember at the age of 11 years i was still watching superbook when i was in italy and it's been how many years now more than 18 years now and I still, as a grown-up woman like me, I still watch Superbook, yes. And I do that with him. And really happy by watching Superbook. Sometimes we watch Coco Melon. These are some of the things that are literally uh, we've sort of doing or sort of doing at the moment. So yes, you need to know whom or what advice you take in. Some advices are negative, others are positive. You need to see which is best for you and what, which one would uh, really help you your baby and also your husband and since i'm talking about uh taking in advice you also need to watch out uh, toxic uh people they could be family they could be friends you need to watch out and uh you know uh just know whom you take your advice from that's all i can say the, the second thing would be knowing what to do with my baby as in uh making sure that he feels okay he feels happy that he's uh He's fed well. I'm really stimulating him enough. Yeah, because I would not want to, you know, go all the way to the GPs all the time, have to call in, my baby's this, my baby's that. I'm at a point in my life, I'm like, sometimes I don't call the GP. And they will tell you that, go and take paracetamol. Because that, this is not, I mean, the first time me experiencing this, it, it has always been like this. So sometimes I mostly don't go to the G to the GP. I don't bother myself calling the GP to the doctor telling me, oh listen, my son is this, or oh I'm I'm not feeling well this and this. Unless I feel that that particular illness is very serious, that I don't have any idea of what that sickness might be, and then I call the GP. But mostly I know they'll take me, they'll tell me to take paracetamol. So I don't even bother. If you call in the baby and the baby has got a headache, come on give the baby couple don't go calling your gp oh my baby's head is aching no i used to do that when i came back immediately from the hospital because come on i knew nothing the baby used to cry all the time 24 7 at night the father is sleeping because he's got awake and i'm the only one sitting on the bed when the baby cries i also cry the baby will cry i also cry this baby will cry i also cry at a point i'm like mm, i have to call the hospital and that's when i call the hospital They're like oh no the baby's yeah at this point the baby will be crying a lot but uh, you get used to it the baby will change you stop crying and all that oh god he's looking at me he's so cute oh uh, the baby will stop crying and all that and i'm like yeah and at this point he has stopped crying he whenever he cries it's either he's hungry or he wants to sleep that's all he's not a crying baby and i love the fact that he you know he's not a crying baby anymore <laughs> So yeah, the thing is uh, connecting with other moms because I know that the more uh, I, the more you connect with them, you get to learn from each other. Maybe things that they know, they might teach you. Things that you know, you might teach them as well. So it's quite good to you know get into that small you know um, um, 
small you know uh casual encounters with these moms and i think it really helps but at the moment i don't really yeah i know that there are some of pe some people that i know that they've just had babies and uh, i'm that kind of person that i don't want to i don't want to uh if it's not like we're going out or we're meeting up for a specific thing we we'll talk about I, I don't really uh i would not really say that i would uh be open for that you know because the the whole is good for you to learn from each other yes that's that's the most thing i would say however i'm not really uh is it comfortable i don't know if that's the right word at the moment because um i'm always kind of like busy with the baby doing stuff i need to uh you know tidy the house so, like it's a whole lot for me at the moment so i don't really if the little time i have if i want to go out it will probably be maybe uh a you know, visiting family or something i don't know but i've not thought of that uh i am open for it yes why not maybe i'll try for the first time if i like it then maybe it's something that i'll keep up to you know to do but for now i've not really thought of that yeah so that's number three on my list yeah so the fourth thing on my list would be the wood can sometimes be lonely yeah i always said i don't want to put i don't want to say the word boring it can be lonely i would say because come on you're alone in the house with the baby uh yes i can speak to friends and family yes i can watch movies i can listen to music i'm an indoor person so i'm not like i would not complain that much however sometimes i go out i just go out with the baby just to go and shop sometimes i go around exploring you know the city and sometimes too as of now i've really drawn the action plan for summer yes we're really traveling this year yes i'm trying my best to do all this before he turns two because you know maybe some of you all don't know babies fly for free they don't pay for tickets up to two years old so from two years old they pay so i'm trying all my best to you know have these uh baby moon uh holidays making sure that he he has traveled i know he's too little and i'm supposed to wait until he's older for him to explore and to know that oh yeah when but i also want to have that time that i'm um, really flying with the baby and uh, if i could really handle it you know so far I've, we've been to dubai and we went with him and i think everything was cool so i'm not that like can i do it can i not do it i can do it but i still want to have that time and travel with my phone because right now this year has really been tough this one has always been busy back to back back to back and uh, the little time we could get with him we just grab it and we are like no we need to travel because we need to have that family time we need to have the husband and wife time so the me time you know exploring uh traveling around having more sex maybe producing more children eating living life to the fullest because you may never know what tomorrow is what tomorrow brings so you know living our life uh you know putting at the back of our mind that god has got us you know it doesn't matter whatever we're going through whatever we are going through it may be positive maybe negative but we need to put all those things aside and you know have fun so this year mm, yeah all are not ready are you guys ready for us because we are going to produce good content travel content for you guys so you better be ready <laughs> you know when i talk like this i hate it because i know some youtubers who are who like fake their accents and like i don't need to speak like oh yeah years of living uk for that long so yeah you get what i'm saying yeah i don't think it's necessary is it you gotta be who you are you don't need to pretend and you know fake your accent and be like anyway that's just by the way <laughs> so also the fifth thing on my list would be staying connected with myself i mean separating myself from being a mother and uh making time for myself and that would be spending time with god mostly yes this year i really have to top my game because 
Oh uh, yes, I read the Bible every morning. I do my studies with my son. We watch our super book that gives us good Bible stories. However, I think that I still uh, need to, you know, top up my game by having more time and uh, me time with the Holy Spirit, God. Yeah. So uh, I think I'm going to, you know, step that up. Also, I need to have a me time for myself. I wish I could just have massage somewhere. Yeah. Anyway, I need to book for a spa. I need to, as I said, we'll be traveling, so that's fine. So it wouldn't be like, I feel like I'm always, yeah, sometimes I feel like, uh, mostly I feel like uh, it's always me being at home with the baby. Uh, yeah, I would love to go out. But you know, all my girlfriends are always busy. So even if you book something for them to go out with, they'll give you excuses. Yes, they're always busy. You know yourself. So if you're watching this video, shame on you girls. Hmm? It's also just by the way, but yeah, I wish we could, you know, I could go out more. But uh, leaving the baby behind, I'm not hundred percent sure. Well, talking about my childhood, before I joined my family in Italy, you know, I used to live with different people, friends of my mom, uh, relatives, and guys. I, I think I'm gonna do a separate video to talk uh, to talk to you about my childhood. It wasn't that easy because I was more treated. When I say more treated, guys, if I go to details right now, I'll probably share tears. I'll probably cry because when I look back and I see myself now where I am, I'm always thankful. That's why probably all the time I'm jovial. Sometimes I'm laughing, happy, you know, here and people don't know the reason why, you know, you don't need to be rich or, you know, you don't need to be successful before you can be happy because I'm more of like the little things in life, you know, and this is one. So I don't really look at that. Yeah. So sorry. My baby was feeling sleepy, but now he's busy, you know, jumping here and there. I don't think he feels sleepy anymore. I don't know. He was just dozing off. Yeah. And the next thing I would say is, uh, feeling fulfilled you know by uh doing you know your mother role as in cooking for my baby i've got a cooking um baby's food that i've shot and i'm going to upload it possibly i don't know if i'll upload this one or be, or that one before this one so yeah you guys to look uh forward to it and uh, yeah i think that's also one thing i always said that I would love to you know explore by you know having my baby eating at the uh, outside you know buying food from the supermarket you know the baby bottle food but uh i realized that listen i'm not going to waste money on that and that is buying baby's food when i've got this god gifted hands when it comes to cooking come on i can cook for my baby so so far he's been eating i mean from my pots yeah i've not been buying any baby food outside and he loves it also the other thing would be letting go of everything and uh, that would be letting go of thinking overthinking too much about my career my projects what i need to do in life my ideas about time about achievements about perfection and about also motherhood and that's the main reason why i'm just you know taking it slow I'm enjoying every bit of motherhood before I return back to work. When I go back to work, I don't know. I'll be very busy, you know, trying to put some money into the accounts, you know, really not have that much time to, you know, go on holidays and all that. Yeah, we, we might go on holiday, but it would not be like now. So I'm trying all means to do this this year before I head back to work. And talking about going back to work, your girl is not ready because I don't want to leave my child with anyone. Yes, my mom, my son, my mom is there, my in-law is there. They are all busy working. I don't have anyone to, you know, take care of him. And I am, and uh, what's it called? Is it, God bless you, my son. And I think, um, you know, taking my baby to a nanny. Uh, we've done our research. Ooh. But there's space there. So I would rather prefer to, you know, take three months off in addition of the nine months that I took. To stay home and take care of my baby even though they are not going to pay me i would really be glad and grateful 
to spend time with my baby boy than to you know go to work leave my child with someone that i don't trust you know i'm not gonna do that yes and my husband is very understandable when it comes to that i give you thumbs up for that mr acb anyway i just want to give you a shout out my husband i love you so much i know you are just packing the car but i still want to say it i love you so yeah, so these are just few stuff that I think has been my greatest challenge. Most people have asked me, when are you going to have your second baby? I will, he'll be ready when he's ready and when I'm ready. So you guys will have baby number two. Yes, but for now, you guys should enjoy baby number one. That's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video by me sharing some of my biggest and challenges in motherhood. Yes, uh, there are so many of them. If I had to do a whole video, this video is going to be long. I'm saying thank you so much for your support. For supporting us those who share videos and if you don't share it we, we are so grateful because you guys are with us you know um if you're new here and you've watched the video to this far kindly like the video share the video and subscribe to join the happy family and if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for tuning in today too until the next time in our next video bye keep spreading love and keep spreading peace we love you I know.